y'all, it's Cameron here. I'm doing another devotional today and I'm really excited. I titled this devotional, Be the Light, um, but in reality it's basically just about spreading positivity and being kind to one another. And it's a little bit of a rant, um, but I have some notes here to try to keep me on track. So we'll just see what happens from here. Um, first, I have a little story. So a few months ago, I was texting my mom and she was telling me that one of my friend's moms told her that I was always so uplifting to her on, on social media. And that hit me like, you know, I said, well, tell her, I said, thank, or, thank you, it's no problem, whatever. And I thought, though, like, I never really remembered a specific time when I was really uplifting. Um, all I could remember just, you know, commenting, you look beautiful, you're gorgeous, whatever, you know. And the point, though, out of all that, is that one way or another, it uplifted her. And so my challenge to everyone is just to be spreading love on social media. Um, you never know, like, if someone's on the verge of a breakdown and maybe they post a picture in the picture, they look beautiful, it's on a beach somewhere, it was actually taken a few months ago, but they post the picture and someone comments or you comment how beautiful they look or how great a photo it is. Whatever compliment it is completely makes their day. And they forget about that breakdown that they were about to have and they're just uplifted by you. Um, and that's the thing, like, if you, like, if you think someone looks pretty or you, if you think it's a great photo, tell them, you know? Maybe it's gonna lift them up. Maybe it's gonna be that one comment that just completely turns their day around and makes them happy. Um, and also another point I want to make is the flaws that you see in yourself may actually be the beauty others see in you. There have been millions of times, countless times, that I have not posted a photo or thought about not posting a photo because it was on my good side or you know my hair looked weird or something and before I know I mean I see comments though and it says your hair looks great you know and then I it makes me confident it makes me happy it makes me feel good um, we're humans of course when we get complimented it makes us feel good so I mean exactly that if you think someone looks good tell them you know make their day let them know that they that they look beautiful because they are and they deserve to know that they are beautiful because they are beautiful. Um, society has really just instilled in us a huge insecurity. So just reiterating, like, share that love on social media because this huge insecurity that society has made and this society is continuing to make in women and children and girls and men and everyone, it's not going to go anywhere and it's probably going to get worse. But maybe if you spread love and joy and positivity on social media, maybe we can make it a little bit better. You know, one person at a time commenting, you look beautiful. You know, like, maybe we can make this better. Um, I thought it was also ironic, This I just wrote this down in my notes, but when I was making this little devotional, I made it about a month ago, I heard a brother, if I need to breathe while I was making it. and. That's like exactly what this sermon is about. Is it's about you know being a brother and giving someone shelter and loving them and taking them in and you know just helping them out. Like this is what it's about. It's about spreading to positivity and being the light in the world, especially in the dark world that we're in. I mean, the least you can do is comment on someone's photo that they look great. Another cool thing that I've seen lately, um, especially on celebrities' photos, I'm sure other people do it too, I just see it a lot more on celebrities' photos, um, it's called compliment trains. And so you see people commenting on the person above them in the comment section saying, you are beautiful, or you look like you're a great mom, or, you know, whatever it is, you know, they're either looking at their profile or just saying something to uplift this other person that's above them in the comment section and that's so cool we're commenting on random people that we don't even know and we're just trying to make their day that's awesome so i have a few verses to back this up um first one is john 15 12 through 13 it says my command is this love each other as i have loved you 
Greater love has no one, no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. So, saying, love each other as I have loved you. God loves us, and so we should love each other with that same love that God gives us. Obviously, that's impossible. There's no greater love than this, it says it here, um, than, God, than God's love. He physically you know, gave his son up to the world for him to die so that we could be closer to God. There's no greater love than that. And, you know, that's fine though. Like, that's that's God. No one can be like God. That's God. Um, but he's saying, you know, love each other as he has loved us. So yeah. Um, and then my next verse is 1 John chapter 4, 19, 19 through 20. It says, we love because he first loves us. Whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. I'm going to break this one down because there's a few parts to it. First off, we love because he first loved us. Now that was said also in John 15, um, talking about we love because God loved us. And then secondly, it says whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar. If you say that you love God, then you have to love your brother or sister. And that's not just, you know, family. That's everyone. That's all your neighbors. You have to love your neighbors if you say you love God. It doesn't, it goes hand in hand. It doesn't go any different way. And then lastly, it says, For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. You can physically sit next to your brother or sister or your friend or neighbor, whoever. You can't really physically sit next to God. Um, so if you can't even love the person that you see, how are you going to really love God who you can't see physically? Um, and then lastly, the last verse is Luke 10. It says, love the, Lord, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. So first off, you're putting all your might, everything you have, into loving God. And then you love your neighbor as yourself. In society, it's hard to love your neighbor as yourself. But even more than that, it's hard to love yourself. So to love your neighbor as yourself, you also have to love yourself. And that's hard. But, you know, maybe by spreading positivity and being the light, then people will also be more confident in themselves, not only by spreading positivity, but because positivity is spread upon them. So it's just this whole big circle of love and joy and positivity that needs to happen in this world, and we're the ones that are responsible for doing it. So I'm asking y'all to be the light, to do something simple and just start by spreading positivity on social media. Because like I said, social media is a dark place and it's easy to compare and get yourself down and create this huge insecurity about yourself or about other people. Oh, my camera's falling. People, oh, my camera's falling. Oh, my camera's falling. Anyway, so spread love, spread positivity, be nice to one another, love yourself, love each other, love your neighbor as yourself. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you can check out my channel for other devotionals and a few makeup videos. Um, but yeah, just comment down below if you think I should do, I don't know, comment down below your ideas, comment what you think I should do better, what you think I should do more, what I should talk about, and basically anything you want to tell me. Alright, have a great day, um, I hope you enjoyed this like I said, and just yeah, be the light.